Yes, yeah, Bonka, indeed. 5,800 of you donating 10 rand each, we will reach that goal, and we certainly can do it, because together we will, and we can. Ah, but that's not all that Woolies are doing to support their fellow South Africans. They're always hard at work doing something interesting. The Sunlam Cape Town Virtual Marathon is almost here. It's around the corner, and Woolies have got the need to feed, to give you what you need to succeed and take the lead. Yes, indeed, that's right. Uh, on the 18th of October, selected uh, Woolies stores will be helping you cross your virtual finish line with feeding stations spread uh, across the country. There are going to be so many of them. These selected stores will be offering a suitable selection of snacks and refreshments and they'll also be situated outside the store for your convenience and of course perfect for getting you back on your virtual route which obviously is a tick now choosing from any of the selected stores situated in the western cape kwazulu natal Khateng, uh, you can plan your route accordingly and of course include your selected woolies as a pit stop that's actually quite smart but now back to our cooking an essential part of uh, training for any event is the correct intake of the right foods we all know this you always need to replenish your body before and after any big race and this next recipe is going to do just the trick i promise you uh, it's a butter bean and pea burger with smashed avocado mm. a burger yes mm. peas mm. yes and avocado absolute yes chef clem you're trying to win this heart every day you work Harder than the previous day. Thank you. Thank to you. Win you too. This heart yeah. and the hearts of many South Africans who are watching. We're just out here trying to be the daily difference. That's all we're doing. But you know, you are the difference that keeps on giving and feeding and feeding. How cool are those feeding stations for the Cape Town Marathon? I love that. That's actually very smart. Yeah. I'm actually very, gonna very be. Smart. I'm not taking part in the race. Are you not? I'm not, not? because I'm working on the day. Okay. I'm gonna be going around Cape Town, visiting all the feeding stations, oh, making cool. sure everybody's happy. So if you're taking part in the Cape Town Marathon, yeah. we might bump at each other. A little so hi, a little shout out. If you yeah. need a little helper yeah. to help pre prep the food. You want to come through? Eat any leftovers. Oh! Um, all right, okay, okay. Uh, I'm sure there are many people who will volunteer. They'll be DMing you on Maybe one, media. someone's name, they start to the tub oh, and into the yeah, ESO. I, think. I heard about him. He's a cool guy. He's a cool guy. <laughs> but, um, so what are we doing? So this is a really great... I was talking to Graham a little bit about the Cape Town Marathon and about prep before and prep after. Yeah. And one of the great things is like, reward yourself, but like, you know, still be, be, be kind to yourself. Yeah. This burger comes through with that. You've run your marathon now. Yeah. You need that fuel again because yeah. you're going to do that. Restore yourself. Mm. This burger really does. So what I've done is I've added some of the pre-cooked barley and these are really great. Normally, okay. you go into the microwave, 90 seconds, and you're good to go. Okay. I'm not going to do that now. Now it's going to okay. go into our food processor. Okay. That's in there. All it's right. going to actually form the body of the burger patty with some of the beans we're doing. Oh, okay. What well, I'm very keen to see what yeah. that's going to look like. We're using butter beans, but yes. you can use kidney beans, cannelloni beans. beans. What beans? What, where butter you, beans. Butter, are butter my beans. Thing. Yeah, I am yeah. a butter bean guy. Butter bean guy. Absolutely. Yeah. Also in and curries. You? Oh my goodness. Okay. In peas. Love, love, love peas. Also love the peas in this recipe because it gives it a nice vibrant green color. Yeah. And I dig that. Okay. It is a veggie patty anyway, yeah. but it still comes with all the protein with and all the, the flavor. Okay, let's Peas see. going in. Yep. This is a beautiful taste recipe and I love this recipe. It's just fresh. It kind of reminds you of spring. Yes, Cape Town, I know there's a snow. Not just Cape Town. It's cold in most parts of the country. Did you hear the weather report when Kutle was going through it there? So we all need a bit of uh, comfort. Something, absolutely. Comfort but stuff. I mean, essentially, you know, peas are so like, we, when we think spring, we think peas, green, yeah. young and fresh. And the yeah. flavors do come through. And definitely by the time the Cape Town Marathon is happening on the 18th of October, it's going to be... It's going to be a little warmer. It's going to be warmer, yeah, surely. Definitely. And, and, and hopefully we're crossing fingers for that. Cool. So, sure. in we go with some salt and some pepper. Mm -hmm. I also like the fact that I'm talking about the marathon a lot because I'm really inspired about it because yeah. I'm actually working at it. Yeah. The fact that now you don't just have to be in Cape Town. You can be anywhere, anywhere in the country. In the world. Uh, look, that's so In the world, the, yeah. In the world. That is absolutely Can I, can I make a noise? Yeah, please do. Uh, and the thing is about when you run a marathon... Uh-huh. No. Tell me about it. No, I know nothing about running a marathon. Oh, I'm were you just trying to speak while the noise is going on. So oh. <laughs> nobody hears All what right. I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> so what I've done is a years where you can totally use your own discretion, right? Yeah. If you want a super fine, fine patty, let it go Keep for a little going. longer. Yeah. I kind of like the combination of like fine, but a little bit of chunky. You want to okay. know what's in there. Right. So the bottom of it is nice and blitzed, and then the top. It's still got chunky bits of the barley, of the peas, of the beans. And all you're going to do then is, you can see that, that nice combination there. All you're going to do then is to shape them into patties. Okay. And I like to chill them slightly just before I put it in the oil. 
And, and, and how would you, how do you want to, 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 to start shaping them into sort of your patties? Do you want them cool like that or would you need to uh, add some water? Nothing, Would you need nothing. to warm them up? How, you, how? You, give the, you give the barley a chance to kind of hydrate. Uh, to, to suck up the moisture of the peas and the beans. With the mix. Okay. And that's it. Don't okay. add anything I else, see. you're good to go. I see. So what you're going to do now is you take your beautiful patties mm -hmm. and you're going to pop them into a pan or you can use um, canola oil, olive oil, mm. go crazy. Mm -hmm. um, get a, give it a good sear though. Treat it like you would a normal beef Burger. patty. Yeah. It's a little sticky but that's expected yeah. because of the fact that we got all those the, the peas and the beans in there. Yes. Get some oil on there. It's a little hot but that's fine. We're good. Mm -hmm. You know what they say, if you can't handle the heat, step out the kitchen. Uh, but you not can that handle, hard. You can That's handle fine. the heat. Absolutely. So you're staying in the kitchen. So there, the patties go in. Give that mm -hmm. a chance to. This, what you want to do now is not fiddle with it. Yeah. Give it a chance to form that crust. Okay, the crust is a must with this one, especially. Okay. And when, when that crust forms, it also stabilizes the patty as well. It's so well, cool that you still can get a crust with this. Yes. I think that that is so cool, even though it's a plant based patty. Yeah. Right? You think we're coming through with the plant based dishes in general today? Wow. Well, how do you think about our curry we made earlier? I didn't see it. Huh? I'm gonna, I'm gonna check. I didn't, sorry, I didn't see that. You I, don't were, know. You I was were... making coffee. I don't know. I, I'll, I'll check it out. Also, shot for offering the coffee. Me. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. You can just nod. Such a politician, I like that. Mm. Mm. I... <laughs> okay, it's so let's talk... It's an interesting take. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm vegan mayo going in there. Yeah. And that's because we're just keeping it plant-based. Uh -huh. Then what I want to do now is I've got some sun-dried tomatoes. Oh, they are yes, so great. I love those. Okay. One thing about meat, meat adds like an umami flavor to everything that you, to all your dishes. Mm. We bring that umami flavor through, through with our sun-dried tomatoes. And you can chop them up. I kind of like keeping it nice and chunky. So beautiful. It almost looks like meat, doesn't it? It does. So that's going it on really there. It does, for so, real. So let's just turn this over. Let's check on our patties. When are we getting to the avo part? Because you want to get I've some been, avo? I've really been waiting okay, for cool. that. Let me just turn over these patties. So the avo is really, really simple. We've done a couple of smashed avo recipes yeah. before. All you want to do is you want to just get your avo. Mm -hmm. Can I, a trick question. What type of avo is this? Have you, have you done? But that's a few at it's a house. Oh, that's... No, no, no. The fact that you even came through with that in the first place. Oh, I'm impressed. Is that a house? The house is a dark skin. Oh, that's one. the dark skinned one. Yes. Yeah, so you see, I get confused sometimes. I mean, okay. even I get confused because, sometimes. And you are the Avo, Avo prince. You are the prince of... Oh, man. Okay, cool. So all we're going to do with that is just literally get your Avo in there. And it's yeah. a smashed one. If you wanted to make it super fine, you could do that. Mm -hmm. But what are you going to do now? Season salt. I actually got my Avo the other day on uh, special. Yeah. Uh, yes. From the Daily Difference. Look at you coming through yeah. with the Daily Difference. If you want this recipe and you want to get involved, uh, please go on to our website. It's www.expressoshow.com. We've got the recipe with all of the ingredients uh, loaded on there. Of course, remember, uh, the feeding stations uh, that uh, Chef Clem spoke about are only available to runners who are actively taking part in the Sunlam Cape Town Virtual Marathon. So if you haven't registered yet, your chance is right now. Go on there and, and register. It's capetownmarathon.com. And you can enter and register from anywhere in the world, as you heard. Entry fees range from 50 rand for the five kilometer race to 180 rand for the marathon. Of course, there is really, uh, of course, a distance for anybody, depending on what you want to do, right? You can even walk the 5K or the you 10K can. if you want. You can walk it. Like You can uh, do it in your back garden. Man, you don't need to be on the road. That, that, then it was definitely created for me. The Sunlam Cape Town Marathon is sure to be fun for all. Get the family involved. Do it with the family. Make it fun. Make it interactive. Get your friends together. Now you know what to do on that day. Okay. Okay. So I, I rushed it now. Yeah. I would let it sit in the bag for a little longer to get that serious yeah. crust in it. These burgers and are... This look is at what that. they look, look like. They look so, so good. Uh, and I'm sure they're going to taste just as mm. good as they look because it's packed with flavor in there. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Uh, but once again, if you want uh, the recipe, go on to our website. It's expressoshow.com. And of course, a bit later on, we're going to have a culinary hotline. Bling! Sing, ting, ting! That's going to be happening on our Facebook Live because the show ends at 8 a.m. to make way for the matrix with uh, Was a Matrix. We want to make sure that we still get that culinary delight going yeah. through. So Chef Claire will be answering some of your your culinary conundrums on there, uh, go on to our Expresso Morning Show SABC3 uh, Facebook page and drop any questions or comments uh, if you want uh, Chef Clem to you, answer those, of me? course. Uh, uh, I'm, I don't know yet. Yes, yes, I've just been told, yes, I am doing it with you. So that's going to be happening later on. Ah, culinary hotline playing, put it here. Ting, ting, ting. We'll see you. Happy eating, everybody. Get ready to run the Sunlum Cape Town Virtual Marathon wherever you are in the world on the 18th of October 2020. The race is on. Oh, yeah!